This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 214, for Wednesday, January 25th, 2017. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Welcome. I love that. <laughs> what? I still jam out still. every time. Love watching the letters. I want to know how many podcasts we've done where we're not laughing. <laughs> when it starts? When it starts. So It's just cute. Uh, I'm sure somebody out there will go through and they'll have a list. Uh, anyway, uh, here we are. It is uh, snowing here in Appleton, Wisconsin. Just a couple days ago, it was like 40. It was so nice, and most of the snow had melted. I was, It was feeling like spring, and then boom, we're supposed to get 5 to 8 inches today, so I'm looking out the window. Um, it's coming down. I wouldn't call it hard, but uh, steady. at least we can see it. So what better than to um, do a podcast, do and, a talk podcast and talk about pens, right? So uh, last week we had our first uh, pen, Appleton Pen Club meeting of the year, and I was, uh, I was, we had a new location. We've been kind of moving around uh, downtown Appleton, uh, and, uh, and I, think, I think it went well. Yes, we, um, we've met several times at... Um, one particular local restaurant, uh, a block down from the store, uh, but they're very busy. They do a lot of other um, evening things, and uh, sometimes it was getting noisy. We've done a couple here at the store, and then uh, we started um, frequenting another local restaurant about two blocks down the other way, and they have this loft space uh, that I think worked out well. There were some couches, a bunch of chairs, this giant coffee table, um, that in my mind, next time, we're just all going to, like, spill out pens all over and just have this play date. You know, sadly, I, I foresee a, a meeting in the very fu- near future that we, we won't fit in that space. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do, but we had, uh, we had 12 folks at the meeting, which I think was, was, was really an outstanding turnout. Um, Especially in January. In January, right, and uh, and we had many of the many of the folks that came were, were regulars that uh, have been to pretty much every Appleton Pen Club meeting. Um, uh, several new people, though. A couple new people, yeah. We had uh, some people drag somebody else along that uh, <laughs> um, wasn't sure what was going on, but uh, it worked out for the best. And uh, the theme for the week was or the month was uh, pens you got for Christmas. And surprisingly, I think pretty much everybody got some pen or pen-related item for Christmas mm-hmm. and passed it around. And we, we kind of went around uh, in a circle. Yep. And sort of like when you open Christmas presents, you you know show what you got, you talk about it, pass it around, everybody ood and odd. Uh, but there were some interesting stories, um, how you chose what you chose, who bought it. Um, for example, uh, our marketing director, Kim, um, had given her husband a list of some ink and a couple other things that she wanted. And, smart man, he added a pen to the mix. Uh, so she got that unexpected, um, unexpectedly. Uh, uh, one of our, our um, local uh, pen collectors, uh, was it her birthday or her anniversary was also right around Christmas? Yep. So mm-hmm. she got two, and, and her husband refused to tell her which she was going to get when. So There were a lot of, uh, what, four, five people got sailors for Christmas. Mm-hmm. I think it was that. Was that the number five? That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, so um, that was fun. Um, some interesting thing. We had some, uh, we had some sailors. We had, uh, we had a Nokia, which was outstanding. Yes. Um, you know, everything from we had some Chinese pens, some Jinhaos. We had uh, some All-Stars. Um, you know, everybody had something neat. We had uh, blotters we were showing off. Mm-hmm. So um, it was, uh, it was good time. Yeah, it was a good time. And um, then we uh, proceeded over to the store and we chatted some more. And I think it was... 10:30, 11 o'clock. By the time we actually <laughs> actually uh, closed up, and uh, and that was that. So. But you know, I didn't know really anything about toilet seats until that night. <laughs> One of our customers uh, <laughs> sells. Does he manufacture them? Yeah, Manufactures them. and sells toilet seats, and um, we should have one <laughs> come. He offered to send us one. 
apparently it's got this whisper close thing. So. <laughs> yeah, the things you learn after hours. Um, <laughs> it was crazy. I definitely recommend uh, if there is a pen club in your area. Um, go. <laughs> go. And, and, and if there isn't, if you know two, if you know more than one other person, set up a time, get together. Start one. Start one. Find a coffee shop. You meet at the coffee shop, you buy a cup of coffee, you sit at the table, you just bring out pens. And, and we, we try to come up with a theme for each month, um, you know, and if we can't come up with something, we just, it's, you know, it's whatever you got since the last month. Bring something interesting. But, uh, you know, it doesn't cost anything other than the cup of coffee. and uh, Not even then if you don't want to. Yeah, and you don't have to. And, uh, you know, just, uh, I like to patronize the, the, the business that we're, we're in, but... Uh, um, you know, it's a, it's a good good social event. Time flies by, and uh, you have fun, and you get to learn stuff. So, um, you know, we were trying out. I was trying out. I think I was the only one that was actually trying out some of these pens. But um, uh, you we know, did have to pry the Nokia out of your hand a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it was really pretty. It was really, really <laughs> nice. Uh, it was right up my alley, too, just the way. Yep. John's got good taste, so. He does. Um, um, but it's... You know, even if you only have two, two or three pens, a Metro and a Lamy or whatever, um, they still may be something that someone else has never tried. And if uh, people in your family perhaps are, uh, let's just say, tolerant, but not necessarily, um, they don't get it, why you collect what you collect, it's, it's a fun opportunity just to sit and geek out with somebody else who collects the same kind of thing you do. So we had a good time. Yep. Yeah, and um, you know we have we have a couple people in the club that only have a, a couple of pens, so but yeah. they, they keep coming back, and uh, um, you know they don't feel overwhelmed when people start bringing out really expensive pens. You know, they, everybody ood and odd over everything. So well, um, and and you know some of the pens that people were were sharing as as their Christmas pens, um, you know, Metros and and Lamy Safaris and All Stars. Almost everybody chimed in and said, oh, I had one of those. That was one of my first mm -hmm. pens. And look how far down the rabbit hole you can go. But it was all very supportive. There's no, um, I, I really like our group. It's, it's a lot of sharing, not a lot of bragging. Um, and I think that that's how it, it's supposed to be. You're supposed to just enjoy talking about what you collect and why, what brought you into it. Um, we kind of went around the circle and um, asked about, you know, how you got started, what was your first pen, and uh, some of those stories were fun. Yep. Yeah, so don't don't overthink it. If you, if you know a couple people in your, you know, even if it's someone you, you work with or whatever, don't overthink it. Get together, see if you can bring other people in, and, uh, and you might be surprised, and you, you have a good time. So, uh, and if you're in Appleton, come to our club. Yes, we cool. have a good time. Um, so, uh, that was fun. Um, and in the last week, we've had, uh, we've had some new additions to the, the staff. We have, speaking of local people, uh, we have added two new writers to uh, our staff. So we have two really awesome local people who are doing some uh, blog writing for us. So uh, big welcome. I wish you had the applause thing. Big welcome to Sarah and Mariah for joining us. How's that? Um, that's a, not it's bad. a golf clap. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pen clap. It's a pen clap. Um, they both have, uh, they come from different collecting experiences, different perspectives. Um, so there'll be a lot of really interesting things coming from them. And uh, we're thrilled to have them, uh, have both of the, the ladies join us. Yep. So you'll see those posts on Mondays and Tuesdays. Is that mm -hmm. That's the plan. Okay. In fact, I think they've each already had one published. Awesome. Yeah, good stuff. So uh, more content. You know, everybody loves content and um, more pen stuff. So I was I was reading some of them last night, and they're they're real good. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of writing, what is coming up in just what? Uh, what's the calendar look like here? A week from today. A week from today. Oh my God. Go. Inco Rimo International Correspondence Writing Month. Yes. Very exciting. Um, I have decided to make a new Inco Rimo resolution. And what is that going to be? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Every I year, thought you were ready. We, we went and we got... Here's the thing. you got to set your expectations low. I just low. got... <laughs> Every year, I want to do this. 
I, I love the idea of reaching out. I love the idea of writing notes by hand. Um, I just don't ever get around to it. And so every year I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it every day. I'm going to do Then the next year. I'm going to do three out of four weeks. I'm going to do two weeks. I'm just going to try. This year I'm just not even going to promise to do anything. Although, and that way I, I don't feel badly when I don't make it. Uh, we did go to Barnes & Noble for uh, a little coffee and pastry date night the other night, and I bought a box of really pretty um, note cards. So in the back of my head, my secret plan is if I say I'm not going to do any and I send 10, I'm ahead of the game. Keep your expectations low and you'll never be disappointed. Is That's that how it pretty works? much it. Well, yeah. you know, I think, <laughs> so what are, what's, what's the, the way for people to be successful at this? And the idea, of course, to Inco Rimo is to write one letter a day for the entire month of February. Does it have to be in February? Can I start now and then just uh, well, mail it you know, in February? I mean, the, 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 <laughs> rule, I the rules are, are more suggestions. They're flexible. The idea is to get people to write more. Um, obviously, for us, it becomes a little difficult because for 10, 11, 12 days of the month, we are on the road. Um, and that's always, I've always, last year I started strong and I got a letter out every day until we got on the road. And then, you know, I was planning on doing it while we while we were driving, but it just it didn't happen. Um, oh, you could do it this year, and then you could write mine while I'm driving. No. That'd be awesome. <laughs> but the, the idea is, is we've got a week. Um, if you want to, if you really want to do it, and you're worried that you're not going to, uh, not going to be able to, to be successful, get your cards, get your stamps, put the stamps on the envelopes. Pre-address the envelopes. Get everything ready to go. Now, if you do two letters one day and you don't do it the next day, who cares? The idea is you want to get one a day um, for the month on average, give or take. And uh, just, just get writing. Pick out your pens. Make sure they're freshly inked. You know, do what you're going to do. Eliminate so. all the potential problems so that when you sit down, you're ready to go. I'm eliminating all the obstacles by not having anything, so. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get stamps, but I have no. some envelopes. Uh, some I, will, I, I always do it. I, I, a couple of years ago, I, I, tr I really tried. I think I sent two letters out, and then I wrote a couple, but I never mailed them. Um, and uh, last year I did get, I got about 10 out last year. So mm -hmm. I think if I get more than 10 out this year, I just, you know, eventually I will roll my way into getting. What if I sign your name to mine? Lisa and Brian. Yeah, it doesn't Does count. That count. It doesn't count. It's what if I write it and you sign it? Does that count? Between the two of us, we need 50, <laughs> we need uh, fifty six letters for the month. Oh God! All right, I'm gonna start with ten. You could you could write a letter. See, then this is the other thing too. Like you could just write a letter to me, and I could write a letter to you. So you can do that. You can write a letter to your spouse, um, can it girlfriend, be boyfriend. Uh, it cannot be a to-do list. Dear honey, list. please shovel the no, front log. No, 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 it can't okay. be that. So, uh, anyway, that's, that's starting up uh, a week from today, apparently, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, in the past, we've gotten some amazing letters. Um, although every year I get a letter or two from people who say I've <laughs> written to you the last few years and you never write back, and I'm sorry. <laughs> you should see the stack of letters. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's it's amazing. It's, it's boxes. It's, it's, we're, we're very blessed that people think of us uh, to write to. And um, I really admire, uh, we, we see some amazing handwriting. We, we learn about, uh, we learn something new about friends um, that we didn't previously know about them. So it's, it's a really great way to make new friends, to learn more about current friends. Uh, it's, it's a really beautiful thing. I just need, I need more self-discipline. That's what it is. <laughs> And I'm dragging you with me. <laughs> yes, you, apparently you are. Um, we got a couple of uh, pens to talk about this week. We do. Um, that uh, came back in. And, and a couple of these were, actually I think all of these were pretty much a surprise. I know. Um, I'm so We happy. were coming back from Philadelphia, and I'm checking the orders on my phone as on, I don't remember what day it was. And all of a sudden I saw an order come in for... The Lamy Lux in rose gold, and we've been out of that for a long time. There was a uh, a fire at one of the facilities, and so every, every all the Lux were were back ordered. I think when we got them in, we only got 
like a handful, a, like five, five or, or something. It was something. ridiculous. Uh, and this is perhaps the prettiest one, would you say? I think so. And and it, I want to say that it almost the color almost doesn't do it justice on the screen. It's a really pretty, it's almost a pink, pinkish, pinkish gold. Pinkish it's it's gold. rose gold, and it's gorgeous. And I immediately wanted one because my phone is rose gold. Uh, I love rose gold jewelry, uh, but we got so few in the first time that I didn't take one. So when I saw how many we received this time, I ran downstairs and I took one for myself and I brought it to Pen Club. And uh, I think that was probably the biggest hit at Pen Club. It was. Um, it was. A couple of uh, people at Pen Club came back and, and bought one. Um, but uh, really well done. Yeah, nice looking pen. It's got the metal, metal jewel on the top. Um, I don't have a picture, but it has a, a, a unique black nib. It's got, of course, the transparent section like the All Star, um, but um, rose gold back in stock, so we're happy to see that. Um, also, this week, this guy is back, and this guy was actually the Conklin Word Gauge. Uh, this is part of the Heritage Collection. This guy we thought was discontinued, and all of a sudden, it shows up. In Philly, I'm talking with uh, our Conklin rep, and he's got a small pile of them on the table. Um, now, this pen is a smoking deal. It really is. Uh, it's a piston filler. It uses that number six Conklin nib. You can get it a fine medium stub. Uh, you can swap it out easily with a, with a Yovo nib you know, if you want an extra fine or you want the 1.5 or abroad or whatever. Um, but it's made in Italy by Stipula. So it's a really nice pen. Look at that big ink window there. Um, and uh, for those that don't know, the word gauge actually you know, was actually uh, a Conklin pen way back, uh, and it has units on the side of the barrel. So, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, the number of words left in, in your ink quantity. Um, is it really useful I don't know but since you could see it but it's uh, it's kind of a cute uh, little gauge of how much ink you have left and how much writing you have left out of the pen so um, it's a nice nice really nice looking pen I, I think it's it is uh, what's the other thing about it well the other thing about it is it's coming in blue blue is gorgeous and that should be here any day um, and it's like this blue I don't want to say marble but blue it's got some depth to it. It's, it's, it's not uh, pearlized. Metallic? It's metallic. I would call it metallic, maybe. Uh, no? I would call it more pearlescent than metallic. It's cool. That's what it is. It's a great looking pen. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dark blue. It's coming in. There were very... I, I, I never, ever actually seen one. I actually only got two in Philly, and I sold them right away, and then come to find out they actually had a couple more, so I bought all that they had left. Um, but I mean, the price is, is ridiculous. It's ninety bucks. I mean, you know, yeah, well, there's not there's there's no. Out, and for piston fillers, you got a couple of choices. You got a Twisby, or you've got a Pelican M two hundred five, and this is smack dab right in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's I think it's a great value. Uh, what else is coming in uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow, the donut dollies. <laughs> donut Retro donut. is awesome. Retro fifty one. <laughs> The art department is so creative. This is their latest limited edition, uh, and it's adorable. Who doesn't want a pen covered in donuts? I'm, I think tomorrow we ought to get donuts. Wouldn't that be fun? We that get donuts be. in in the store, and everybody yes. can have donuts. Yes, um, for Dolly Day. But uh, we're, I don't know how these guys come up with these ideas. I think you know they come out with a new popper every quarter. Yes. I would have been out of ideas by now. I mean, their art department is amazing. You know, they've done all the sports. They've done football. They've done soccer. They've done they do baseball. Um, you know, I mean, what what else is there to do? You know, and to try to re they re rack rack that's <laughs> yeah, that's going to sell well. Um, you know, and they 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 refresh the lineup every year too. So, and it's not a small lineup. I mean, how many pens is it? Is it probably oh, it's a lot. thirty, uh, probably close to thirty or forty pens in the lineup that Easily. they do? Uh, now, some of them are pretty standard, I and mean, you're never going to get rid of your your black or your red or your stainless steel. But um, 
they, they're mixing it up. I mean, every year it seems, what, uh, at least a half a dozen, ten pens get added, dropped from the lineup, and, and then they come out with this stuff. I don't know how they do it. I really don't. They, they seem to uh, drop a few and then add... I wouldn't say they drop three and add three. Um, it sometimes feels like they add more than they drop. They do, yeah. I guess um, you, you, in the year, it seems like, okay, well, this one's now discontinued. Right. But, but. Uh, this Donut Dolly's, the um, story behind it, and I don't have it here in front of me, was uh, it has to do with uh, the ladies who would uh, deliver donuts and coffee to the servicemen on the lines in, in the war. Um, WW2. Yes. But it's, it's just adorable. It's just a fun, happy pen. Uh, I know that um, several of the staff members are uh, <laughs> looking to grab a couple. So. And there's a, there's a donut on the top. So on the, the, on the, the top neural of the knob, jewel. yeah, on yeah. the top of the jewel is a donut. It's, it's just really well done. They uh, are incredibly creative. So, so. It's, it's certainly not a serious pen. It's uh, not is something it, necessarily... Is any, is any retro a serious pen? I don't know. Um, <laughs> the brown with rose gold. I the guess, classic lacquer is nice. But, they're uh, all This is just fun, fun and lighthearted. It's very typically retro. Uh, but we're excited to see it. And um, we'll see if we have any left at the end of, the, of tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just... I can see this. I don't... I have... Oh, that's not true. I have three... <laughs> I was going to say, I have one retro. And then I thought about it, and I'm like, no, I have three. Um, they're easy to they're easy to Get addicted accumulate. to. Accumulate. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say accumulate. <laughs> um, but uh, they're fun. They're good, good company. I, Made, have, you know. I have far more than three. Uh, every year we receive one as retailers from retro, so I have all of those. I snagged the first one when we only got one. And every uh, year somebody offers to buy them. <laughs> I know. Uh, every year in Denver, um, our good friend Pete Wilson brings me a pen and says, hey, you need one. Uh, this one's for you. And I'm pretty sure he always has two so that we're twinsies. Um, there are several from the line that I really uh, have fallen in love with and, and have uh, gotten one. I loved the Twinkle. Uh, of course, I have one of our terabytes. Um, what else do I have? Oh my God, I don't know. I have no idea. I can't even think <laughs> about them. But a you lot have, of the you limited. Have the, the one from Pen and Bad. You've got uh, uh, some of the some of the poppers that had the the airplanes and stuff on them. Yes, yes, I have. I can't I remember have the names of them all. There's so several. many. Several. Uh, the so. Christmas ones are fun. Some of the limited editions are fun. Um, and, you know, they only make X many, and then they're done. So um, they, they do get a – they're like potato chips. <laughs> Georgia like that. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what's, what's on the, the docket for this week. Um, We've got other stuff coming in, I think, next week, but I don't know. We've been on an ordering frenzy, so we'll see what uh, comes in before L.A. Three weeks. Three weeks oh from today, God. we will be rolling into sunshine. That's how I'm going to promote this because <laughs> <laughs> somebody doesn't like to pack for shows. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, three, about three weeks, we're going to be in L.A., and uh, we'll have to see what's going on. Maybe we can stop by the Atoya offices again. That would be fun. That would be fun. We um, always like to, to see. I love to see uh, Larry and Don. Those guys are great. Um, and, you know, whatever, whatever else is going on. I think we're still just in recovery mode from the holidays and inventory, and uh, it's been nice to be back home from Philly. The, the Philly show was amazing, um, and... Knock wood, we had decent weather both ways, except yep. for a couple hours when we first left. So I'm hoping that that is a good omen for the rest of the year. We'll see. Yeah, once we get once we get done with LA, we're you know we're in the clear. So um, Baltimore. Well, in Baltimore. Baltimore sometimes yeah. bad weather, but um, anyway, you know, for us, show season is a big part of what we do, and um, uh, we both like it and don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> so. So. Uh, what else? Uh, we have one more week left in our little New Year's pen challenge. Yes, there'll be a blog um, post up about that. You know, I'm kind of looking forward to it being done. And not that I don't... I, what? I, I, I don't normally write with one pen for 30 days. 
That pen, you better. Well, I want to. I want to write with the Christmas pen too. See. <laughs> um, it'll it'll be fun. Uh, we haven't really talked about it between ourselves. Um, how we like the pens we picked for New Year's. Uh, I still think Brian's in a little bit of a shock for uh, f- because of the fact that I said let's go just get your Valentine's Day present a couple weeks early. A couple, uh, yeah. Six weeks, whatever it was. Um, it has been interesting to use the very same pen every day. I, I filled mine three times now. This uh, it, it forced me to pick a new ink color that I've never tried. I used Diamine Red Dragon, and I, I think it's a pretty color, but I had never used it before. And I really like it. Uh, so it's it's been an interesting exercise. Um, yeah, it'll be fun to write about it and, and to uh, kind of compare notes on, would you do that again? Would you commit to one pen every day for an entire month? I don't know that I can do that. I don't. So I'm, I'm committed, I should I'm committed, never. I'm committed to one thing, and that's you. Oh, and beyond that. Wow. <laughs> wow. What did you do? That was nice, do? right? That was good. Huh? What did you, are you, what did you do? I think you're in trouble. Uh, um, no, I like to mix it up, you know, match, you know, if you got a brown shirt, I like to put a brown pen in, or a blue shirt, I like to put a blue pen in, you know, mix it up, but, uh, uh, yeah, I think it was yesterday, I found myself trying to, I was thinking, boy, I, w- I would like to write with that Riallo, and, well, I can't, per well, you, the, you can, no, I can't, but the agreement you have to says use, I have to use this pen but only, but not that pen only, that, that was the agreement, to, no, it was, you have to use that pen at some point every day. You could well, have been using the Christmas pen half and no, half. No, that's not okay. what I'm doing. I'm, I'm using this pen only unless I run out of ink, which has happened twice. All right, you're lost. So, anyway. <laughs> um, I think that's about it for this week. Um, unless you've got anything else? No, that's that's it. All more right. stuff next week. Uh, thanks so much for joining us this week. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Cool. Follow our blog for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of uh, other fun stuff. And check us out on social media as Anderson Pence. Have a good day, everyone.